Greetings and welcome to this update and a quick overview for the new downgrade tool which is completely free called Tardis Merula and you can use it to downgrade to any iOS version on A9, A9X, A10 and A10X devices and you can get it from its official website as you can see it right here we already have version 1.0.1 at the time of making this video which fixes issues with a9 devices unable to get into pawn dfu mode so you can get it from here also please note that at the time of making this video only mac os is supported linux support might come in the future you can use it to tethered or untethered downgrade so if you have saved blobs like so you can untether downgrade using this tool which will not require a computer every time you start your device or boot your device but if you do not have blobs you can downgrade tethered which will require your device to be plugged in to the computer and you will have to kickstart it using this tool now if you don't know how to save valid blobs i already made a guide for x8a4 tool which will be in the description which will help you save valid blobs for all the signed ios versions for your legacy devices also please note that a11 and later devices are not supported and support for a7 and a8 devices might come in the future yes you can downgrade to as low as ios 9 or any version which your device ever ran also if you check this post here we have a nicely written guide you can check it out here if you want help regarding this tool you can simply find the generator you can use this command where you will drag and drop your blob and then use this command to get the generator and then you can run the tool by simply following the instructions you can simply make it executable get the ipsw for your device easily from ipsw.me and complete the downgrade process and we have separate methods for a9 a9x devices and a10 and a10x devices we have some points to note that yes of course the sh sh2 blobs are device specific so you cannot use any other person's blobs also if you want to downgrade to ipad os 16.0 or later you will have to have saved the cryptex one blobs using the x8a4 tool and for the mac os version version 10.12 or later is required also if you have a cellular a10 x ipad pros and as well as some iphone 7s you may run into your device not being activated if you restore it to ios 10 and for a9 and a9 x devices if you are downgrading to ios 11 or later it is perfectly fine now if you want to check out if you have saved blobs for the previous ios versions once they were signed you can simply connect your devices with itunes and then here simply keep hitting this serial number udid until you get ecid you can simply right click copy and then you can simply get to the tss saver data one conan official website hit on retrieve and then simply paste the ecid here hit submit then open link and you will see the list of all the saved blobs for your device and then you can use them to downgrade to the previous version now just for a proof that it works you can see this post that a person was able to successfully untether the downgrade to ios 13.7 on his device of course over saved blobs also if you have issues you can simply report them by making an issue on the official github page for Tardis Merula. That's all for this update slash brief overview for the new Tardis Merula downgrade tool. Now if you have questions regarding this you can ask in the comment section. Also if you celebrate advance in Mubarak. I will see you in another video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.